What if the Eiffel Tower was attacked? The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower that is located in Paris, France. The Eiffel Tower was constructed from 1887 to 1889 as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair and at first it apparently was largely ridiculed by both leading French artists as well as intellectuals, but it quickly went on to become a global cultural icon. The Eiffel Tower is in fact so popular that it is the most visited monument with an entrance fee in the entire world. It is said that almost 7 million people went up the Eiffel Tower in 2015. That's a lot of people and that doesn't even count those who just go for a visit and walk around the area as close as you can get. Aside from its popularity, the Eiffel Tower is the tallest structure in Paris as well. So what would an attack on the Eiffel Tower cause? Well, an attack being made on the Eiffel Tower would immediately be taken as a threat to the national security of all those living in France. I'm not sure exactly what this attack would look like. I mean, the Eiffel Eiffel Tower does have a bulletproof glass barrier now that was just installed a few years ago, but unfortunately, those who want to do harm can seemingly always find a way through the safety and security measures that have been put in place. If you remember, on November 13th, 2015, France declared a state of emergency after the deadliest terror attack on French soil in modern history took the lives of 130 people in the Paris region. There were three separate incidents of different attacks with multiple people people involved, and besides the life count we just discussed, these attacks also injured 416 people, with 100 of those being critical. Seven of the attackers were also killed during this horrible time. These attacks were the deadliest in France since World War II. That's a lot to take in. I'm talking about this fateful day because this really changed how France responded to these kinds of incidents, and if there were to be an attack on the Eiffel Tower, the immediate response would most definitely be to treat it as it was a terror attack, because, well, why would someone choose the Eiffel Tower if it wasn't meant to send the worst kind of message? The 2015 attacks in Paris changed a lot for the country. There were many new anti-terror bills that were written up that upped the police's ability to surveil people, and while everyone has their own opinions on things like that, I think the most important thing is that steps were being taken to hopefully stop things like this from happening, or at least be better prepared and equipped for if another terrible situation were to arise. Both the UCLAT, which is the coordination unit of the fight against terrorism, as well as the RAID, which is Search, Assistance, Intervention and Deterrence Unit, would immediately spring into action if there was an attack on the Eiffel Tower. Both units are an elite, highly trained tactical unit of the French National Police, and it is not only their job to try and catch these things before they come up, but it is also their job to respond to these terrible incidents as quickly as possible. Like with any big, terrible event, there would be a lot of panic, a lot of sorrow, and it would all around be a pretty stressful time. It would be a while before the entire country was able to pull themselves out of grief, but also after an experience like that, a country is forever changed. We've seen terror attacks happen before in a multitude of places, including France of course, and we know all too well how things can change in an instant forever. I think one of the immediate responses would be a closing of all of the borders. No one in or out. There are also two emergency plans or contingency plans for times of emergency in France, so it is likely that both Plan Blanc as well as Plan Rouge would immediately be enacted. Similar to after the 2015 attacks we already talked about, there of course would be addresses made by those in power. The president would likely speak out and ask the residents of the country to remain strong, as well as come armed with a multitude of promises about what they will do to ensure it never happens again. The authorities will urge people to stay inside as much as they can, and you can be sure that every French politician will be in meetings upon meetings discussing how this could have happened, what steps to take next, and are trying to figure out who was responsible. In terms of a military response, it probably wouldn't happen right away, but it would come at some point. Whether it's an invasion, an airstrike, or any other number of things, the military will certainly be involved and have specific orders once it is known what exactly happened. Immediately following the attacks, it is likely that the military would be called into Paris to help local authorities with many things, 
most that involved the safety of the French people. Following an attack of that kind, surprisingly, there is an increase in those who want to join the military, and I'm sure that would be something seen here. Things like this, and terrible times like this hypothetical one instill people with passion, and it totally makes sense that living through a horrible tragedy would make someone want to do what they can to protect others moving forward. There would be a force of people reviewing a mass amount of material. Every CCTV footage tape they can find, any recorded conversation, scouring the internet for signs, anything that could give them clues as to how this was planned and executed without anyone knowing. I'm sure other police forces would be lending their hands and expertise not only in the reviewing of this footage, but really with whatever is needed at the time. The places that border France would also be involved in the response, not only to lend a helping hand, but also to strengthen their own security measures and border patrol, especially for those coming from France. Some places might even go into lockdown depending on their proximity to the attacks. Even internationally, the effects would be seen. After the 2015 attacks, the United States took extra security precautions, especially in areas where there would be large crowds because when the unthinkable happens in one place, you tend to get your guard up a bit, no matter how far away the trouble seems. The United States wouldn't be the only ones either, and that truly is for the best although it would be ideal if no one ever had to worry about those sorts of things. An attack on the Eiffel Tower would have the whole world watching because it would be something absolutely terrible. It would have an immediate full swing response and authorities would not stop until those responsible were caught and brought to justice. You just can't have an attack anywhere, but let alone at one of the biggest and most important landmarks that exists. It just doesn't work. All right guys, that has been our video for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it today. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more. Stay curious LBQ fam, and I'll see you on the next one.